Hello everyone, Alex here. Today I'm going to show you how to create a custom tool palette in AutoCAD MEP. So my AutoCAD MEP users, I haven't forgotten about you. Go ahead and fire up your application and after watching this video, you'll be able to create a custom tool palette just like the one you see on the screen. So that when you click in one of those parts, your catalog fires up exactly where you want it and you can just drop your part and be a lot more productive. Let's get started. And before we even start, think about it, it makes sense. If you like this kind of content, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. You hit that bell so you get notifications. You don't miss any of our videos. Okay, so let's say you're trying to find a way to get quick access to your tools. Um, let's say I want to drop a sprinkler, right? The standard way of doing that would be to come here to equipment and then if I'm not in sprinklers, I would have to go into my catalog, then find sprinkler, then select the sprinkler I want to use. Let's say it's a pendant semi recess, right? And then you would give it the height, and then you would drop it into your model, right? So instead of doing that, what you can do is you can create a customized tool palette. You see, I have my Alex FP here, which is for Alex Fire Protection. And then from here, if I want to have, let's say, a concealed sprinkler head, I just click on it and it will take me directly to that MV part in my catalog. So it's readily available. It's ready for me to just drop it into my model, right? In a similar way, if you want to do it, let's say you want to draw a pipe, let's, uh, let's give it a size and a system. Let's say the routing preferences group threaded Alex and I can stay in fire protection supply so let's say I want to drop here a, a valve right a butterfly valve so instead of coming here to equipment and then finding the valves butterfly valve and all that I simply come here and I know that's one of my most used parts so I have it here under valves and accessories so I just click on that butterfly valve right here and I can simply drop it into my pipe as simple as that so how do we do that how do we create this customized tool palette so let's assume I want to create another one that is called Alex fire protection 2 okay so what you do is you would come here and then right click and go to customize palette right and here I'm gonna minimize everything here so you see where things are located right so what you see here, the palette groups, HVAC, piping, electrical, plumbing, schematic, and architecture. All those are the two palettes that are going to be loaded when you change your workspace down here. See, HVAC, piping, electrical, etc. So what you do is, again, you come here, you right click, and then you go to customize palettes. And then here, the one that I have current is the one that you see bolded here. It has all my two palette tabs. You know, that Alex Fire Protection that we just saw is right here. So if you wanna create a new one, you just come here to the left pane and you say new palette, right? And let's call this one Alex Fire Protection 2, right? And here it is. So. You can either drop it all the way to the bottom or you can keep it at the top. Let's keep it, let's, let's keep it organized. So let's put it right under FP. And let's call this one, Alex, instead of FP2, let's call it FP Value Engineering, right? Like something that's gonna be a little bit more cost effective, right? So this is like my premium package and this is uh, cost effective. Just to give you an example, right? So I, I hit close. And now when I come here, I have a brand new Alex VE. And then what you want to do is you want to have a file that is saved somewhere in your network and then you organize it the best that you can you know like here I have sprinklers and all my most used sprinklers here I have my most used valves and accessories you want to keep it simple you know because the idea is to save some time and then let's say you want to add this sprinkler to the list you simply click on it you click on the side and then you drag it over and drop it and there it is. You just have to rename it now. Let's say semi recess, right? And then you can add a header, right? Like you can just add a text and let's say, these are my sprinklers. Then you can drop your sprinkler right underneath. And then you can add another header here. 
and that can be let's say valves and accessories right and then you come here to valve and accessories and let's say I want that butterfly valve again you drag and drop it you can drop it right there if you want to separate things a little bit more you can even add a separator like this and that's the way you do it